Hi Aries, welcome to your annual forecast for 2019. Now I need to do this in advance because I'll be traveling around November to December and I'll also be busy around January to February to prepare for the uh, Chinese New Year. So anyway, Aries, here's your monthly forecast. So, oh sorry, yearly forecast. So usually i pull out one card that represents each month okay but that will just you know take a lot of time so what i'll just do is month by month i'll do it and um, i'll be laying all your general cards for general finance um love and sex plus health and then your oracle cards okay so Hopefully, the year 2019 for you will be very, very good. All right. Oh, first card for January. Aries, looks like you are up for a very good start. The victory in the moment that you have been waiting for. All right. Just put it here. And some Aries, you know, if you are waiting and trying to get pregnant for this month or for this year, it'll be a very, very good sign for you because you're going to be very fertile with a possibility of getting pregnant or some Aries will be delivering during this month. All right. Plus, this is the overall energy of your month. The moon card. Well, it's not really a bad thing. I feel like there are just some things that you need to, you know, be a little bit cautious about. And uh, there are some decisions that you need to think long and hard before making any other step. And the good thing here is... Mercury and Mars won't be active during this month until February... Sixth. All right, because November, um, November seventeenth until December sixth will be the Mercury retrograde again, with post shadow phases until twenty sixth. So, ah, okay. Looks like our holidays and uh, Thanksgiving will not be that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's take a look at your finances. Okay, winning, but it's an empty victory. Mm. Looks like you're going to be winning in a competition or getting a promotion. But there will be some things, people, relationships that you need to cut off. Take a look at your sex life. Mm -mm -mm. Aries. So this is for the month of January again, okay? Because I already did the advanced forecast until uh, 2019. Sorry, 2018. The uh, December one. So I'll be doing this in advance as well. Well, your love life is not really that good. So I feel like this is the thing that you need to take some precautions, eh?
Tenables. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, in general, there is a success that you will be attaining, achieving, and getting more likely a bigger recognition that you have been waiting, anticipating for long, you know, for the entire 2018. And finally, this month of January, you're going to be very, very, very fulfilled and happy. Even though that there are, you know, that there are times that you feel so stuck in the situation and you've been waiting, like, when will the change come to me? You know, it's like this is a never ending stagnation. I'm getting bored and burned out and I don't even know if I should make a move or not. Now, finally, this month, your questions and your wishes will be answered by the universe and there will be a celebration. <clears throat> Sorry. Finally, that's going to be taking place around the middle of this month. But you are not going to be telling everyone yet. Not until the, the official announcement and the official endorsement will be given or handed over by your management. Okay? Even though I feel like that there will be some things, people, situation, relationships, and connections that you need to sacrifice for a little bit. Because obviously, not all people can be very happy with your victory, right? So... I feel like there is somebody who's an older air sign that you will be like, um, you know, telling them happily that, you know, what's been going on in your life. And yet this person, instead of being happy for you, they're going to be very skeptical or they're going to be a little bit negative over the news. When it comes to your finances, it seems like, as I've said, that there will be an empty victory, but still... It is a, it's um it is it's like more like the um a winning month for you, a victorious month. Okay, for you to start 2019, and I feel like you're gonna be loving all the transitional phases that you're gonna be going through. It's instead of going through the storm, it's not. Okay, you're just changing the cycle, um, opening up a new chapter again, and I feel like you will be gi you will be given an increment additional benefits. And a better office or better table or team. And I just feel like you need to be a little bit stronger mentally and emotionally. Because, you know, when you get promoted and when you, you know, let's say, for example, advanced a few steps before you reach the top. There are some things that you need to sacrifice. And, of course, the big, the higher the position is the uh, the longer the hours that you have to work for okay and i feel like you will be signing a new contract by the end of the month when it comes to your sex and love life as i've said that not all people will be very happy with the news that you're going to be giving them and they're not going to be that you know oh hey congratulations i'm happy for you you know especially the partner that you know that you're with right now because it seems like they're not going to be very pleased with the news because they know that you will have to work longer hours and the lesser that they have that they're going to see you or be with you or spend time with you now there will also be an inclination intuition or instinct that's going to be kicking inside of you that your partner is having someone else or having an affair there will be some signs and red flags that you're going to be you know that you're going to be breathing getting and you just can't really point your finger at you know that there's like something wrong in the picture only you have the key you know if you can if you should still tolerate or if you will you know prolong this agony you have the key and i also feel like in the back of your mind you are missing somebody who's a fire sign now Right in the middle of the month, you will be feeling a little bit insecure about your marriage or relationship. And you're feeling that your partner is slowly drifting away. You will try to woo and try to be romantic with your partner because, you know, the least support that you can... Oh, sorry. The least um, um, criticism that you're expecting should not, a should not actually come from your um, partner. But instead of congratulating you and being happy for you, they're the one who will be the first to say that, oh my God, yeah, you know, uh, you're going to get promoted. So the lesser we're going to see you, especially if you have kids. 
And I feel like there's also a competition or there's like um there's like um insecurities that's been at play here. And every time that you will need your partner physically, especially around the third week of this month, there will be a lot of arguments, excuses, alibis, aggression. And it's like sometimes your partner doesn't want you to touch them. You don't even know what's wrong and what's going on in your partner's life, but you will somehow feel like an outsider. Like, you will also question yourself that is this the price that I have to pay for being successful or for having the recognition that I've been working so hard for years. And this is the moment that I have been waiting for, yet I feel like I'm going to be losing my relationship or my family. Or at least my partner. You know? I also feel like your sex life have gone dried up and... Uh, it seems like you're not really touching each other. There's too much distances, coldness, and, you know, there's just too much of unspoken pain and unfinished discussions, problems that has, you know, that it's, it's, you know, that you just set aside and you did not really bother discussing about it or settling it or putting a solution to it. You just set it aside, but the dirt is still there and the problem is just laying there. Okay, so I feel like it's time for you to, you know, it's, I feel like it's time for you to finally sit down and talk about your unspoken problems and differences, which is obviously your partner will always be airing their, you know, their grievances and they act like they are the victim, but just try to open up your eyes and your mind and try to understand them. All right before judging or before making a decision now okay i will also be pulling out cards for the singles now as for your health now as for your health it seems like you need to divert your attention and divert your, you know, your anguish into a different craft or into a different hobby. I feel like you also need to, you know, even if you don't have a garden, you can just have a, yeah, you know, like a small pot and plant some flowers, tender some flowers, you know, learn some new things that you could grow. Because you need to heal your energy. You're too intoxicated with a lot of dramas in your life and when you go to the office it's still the same old drama by your colleagues who's not really happy for you or your boss is not really happy with everything that you do okay so it's stress everywhere you go so i feel like you know you need to divert your attention into something that will make you feel accomplished happy and fulfilled and uh you know that your attention will also be diverted now i also feel like you need to be very careful with your it's like you're gonna have some problems or you're gonna have some you know some pain every time that you pee and uh be careful with your kidney urethra and um muscle pain it's not because that you've, been, that you've been working out so much or you've been lifting things so much, but this is the stress that's already coming out of your body. And you will also notice that there is some scent that's not really pleasant, okay? It is also your, your stress. It is also the toxic that you have been intaking from everyone else around you. And like what I said, that, there, that you don't have any other outlet because you're so busy. You're busy with your personal life. You're busy with your work. Okay, now again, for those Aries is trying to have a baby, this is a very, very big month for you, and this is also a very good month. And some Aries will also be uh, delivering during this month. Okay, as far as your health is concerned, your immune system is getting better, your, your health is getting stronger, except that you need to check out for some parasitic infections. Okay. Also, you need to breathe some fresh air near the sea or near the ocean. And don't forget to offer some, you know, some things to be thankful for. You know, whatever your religion is. And 
I feel like don't try to mask your feelings. Be a little bit open and, you know, real so that you will be able to see who the real people are right in front of you whenever you have or whenever you have none. Or yet you have nothing. Now let's take a look, singles. If this will be a very good month for you. Some Aries singles are having a hard time moving on from the past. Because it seems like they're still wishing for somebody to go back into their life. Especially if it's a, a, a water sign. Okay. You still have that what might have been, what could have been. And wishful thinking, you know, to have another chance. And to prove yourself once again that you are the perfect fit for this person. But, you know... I feel like there are some things that you need to learn first, you know, both of you and individually while you are separated right now or while you are, you know, in separation, chose your own two separate ways. And you also need to, you know, start a brand new life instead of waiting for something that is not yet sure to happen. But somebody from the past is coming back into your life, but you don't really have to stand in the doorway and wait for this person to come. Yes, this person that you've been waiting for is going to come back to you, especially if you're with a fire or water sign. But there are some things that you also need to learn first as a lesson, okay? Um, don't settle for anything less, especially if you know that this person is already with somebody or if this person have a lot of failed promises and unfulfilled you know, um, duties and obligations to you. You have tried to walk away before because you wanted to see if this person will be proving themselves to you or they're at least going to, you know, show you that they really love you, but you failed. Instead, this person chose another way as well and uh, chose money or their, you know, their endeavor. And I feel like there, it's a lesson to learn. Next time, don't try to play mind games and don't try to play games. If there are some things in a relationship that you want to see, prove, and you want to test if they're real or not, tell the other person what it is that you're going through and see how they're going to be responding. Instead of right now, you're regretting a lot that I shouldn't have walked away. I shouldn't have done that. I should have stayed. I should have talked. I should have liked this. I should have liked that. You're still hanging around with what might have been and what could have been. But the truth will come out. And I feel like the two of you will still be talking. Yet I feel like by the time that this person will be approaching you. They're only wishing for some closure. And I also feel like this person wants to have a family. Or it's like the two of you have two contradicting goals. Like, for example, you want to have a kid or you want to have a child, then your ex doesn't want to have one. Or your ex wants to have a child and you don't want to have one. So, it's like you're not really in the same page. And right after the discussion, it's still going to end up in vain. Alright? Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Now, let's take a look. I will be pulling out one for your careers and finances. And then one for the general one, okay? Gratitude. Inspiration. Let go. Classes. Birth. Ah. 
Express your inner truth. Be who you really are. Okay, gratitude, inspiration, let go. Classes, birth, and express your inner truth. Between worlds, breathe. Chaos and conflict. Blessed. Message in a bottle, the tribe. This also goes out to those Aries women or, you know, whether you're already in a relationship or not, that I feel like this is the year. This is the perfect year for you to start a family if you don't have a child yet. Now, you're, you attract more blessings when you appreciate your current blessings. So you need to be a little bit more contented with what you have. Inspiration. Yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly to set it into motion. Let go, release the desire to control this situation, live it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. Classes, learning and teaching are part of your higher calling. Well, you could also be an instructor and inspire other people, you know, to become an influencer, to become a, um, you know, like a teacher, professor, or trainer. Birth new life, such as a baby, an idea, happy news, or, exci or exciting project blossoms within and around you. There are a lot of errors that are really going to be, you know, pregnant during this month. Express your inner truth. Your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. Now here, between the worlds, you are caught up between yes and no. And the dark and light. And um, I feel like there are some certain decisions that you just couldn't really, you know finalize right now because you don't know where you're standing you don't know what to do you don't know what to say and if ever did you do this what's going to happen next okay so try to look for some inner peace and tr if you need to be you know to be alone for a little while then do so breathe you need to have a little breather go to as i've said you know go to a certain place where you can be alone for now and you need you need to have a little bit of a space where you don't really have to breathe all those toxic and uh, dramas from other people. Now, chaos and conflict, it is that you are caught up in some, peop some other people's dramas and stress. And like what I said, if you go to the office, you're going to be absorbing all those dramas from your colleagues and bosses. And if you go home, then you'll be absorbing the dramas of your partner, you know, especially if you're no longer having sex. And blessed, the blessing that you're going to be receiving is that the much-awaited event and, you know, turn in your life when it comes to your career is finally coming. Message in a bottle, even though that you are receiving your recognition, you need to heed the calls of the universe and your angels and you need to note it down. The tribe family. For those heirs who's afraid to have a family or who's yet, you know, planning to have a family, this is the perfect time for you and this is the perfect year. So don't hold back. All right. Let's take a look at your February forecast. Okay, a fire sign that's coming back into your life. Somebody that you used to be in, uh, domesticated with. This also applies to those single Aries out there. This month of February. Oh. You will also be relocating during this month. And I feel like there will be some issues about, you know, some siblings or some family healing that will also be um occurring this month if you're not really talking to a female family member in your in your family then this is the time that the two of you will be patching things up now for those singles finally your soulmate is coming in or somebody is more of your equal
You're going to be very busy during this month. You're also going to be very happy with whatever you do. But there will be some problems and nuisances that you have to deal with. Which is, I feel like these are all coming from the personal side. And, you know, relationship-wise as well. Alright, and this is the bottom line of your card. Betrayal. Hmm. Okay, Aries. Um, well, in general, the month of February looks good. Although there will be some problems that I feel like that will be arising right in the th second and third of this month. Alright? Family issues that will, you know, that will come out of the surface, discussions. I feel like you will also be attending a baptismal of somebody or for their newborn baby. And a uh, person from the past is a younger fire sign that will be coming back into your life to ask for forgiveness or just to woo you again. But I don't feel like this person is serious, okay? This person is just full of fake bravado and um i feel like they're just up for another game you will also be moving or relocating during this month and there is a chance for single areas to meet their soulmates or to meet somebody from their past okay somebody that they have that they'll feel that intense connection and chemistry and again there will be another victory but you know i feel like you're still in celebratory stage but you know, there are some things and change. There are some changes that you just need to embrace. And as I've said, and as I've mentioned in the month of January, that there are some ties for people, situation, and um, friends. You know that you're gonna be severing ties from. Now. For Aries, uh, for pregnant Aries, it seems like you'll be going through big changes, especially with your appetite, who will be, you know, that's going to be increasing and you'll be doubling your weight. And I feel like you'll be receiving some not so good news. And, um, well, it's a personal news, okay, not related to your finances or career. And I feel like you will be attending something that is you know could be a little bit bothersome for you and you're going through a transitional phase in the new beginning of chapter now financially i feel like you're just feeling a little bit stuck and um you know trying to grapple into the uh, new changes that's been taking place in your life but I feel like you're, you know, you're making a lot of progress. You'll be very happy. Um, especially that things will be a little bit lighter in the middle of this month. And 
I just somehow feel like that there is somebody who's not going to be very happy for you and will be acting a little bit bitchy or, you know, a little bit of an um, assholeic towards you. You're not really going to like their attitude towards you, but you have to put up with it and, you know, deal with it. But at the end of the month, there will be a victory that you're going to be celebrating. You will know how to deal with this people who is trying to sabotage you and put you down and you're going to be learning something okay from this situation you will have enough wisdom and strength to withstand the situation now as for your sex life and love life you will be gone cold to your partner because of some revelations and things that you're going to be discovering some red flags and some attitude problems that you will also be you know that you will also be dealing with Especially that, you know, right after coming home and the entire house is a mess. Your partner doesn't even give you a pack and, um, you know, and not enough consideration, you know. You would just cry in the corner and you will, you know, it's like there are some times that, you know, there are times that you will just want to decide if it's just time to give up if, it, if it's you know worth holding on working it out and uh, there you know there are a lot of things that you will be thinking about when it comes to your marriage or relationship but then right in the middle of the month towards the third week you will have a very active sex life because it seems like the two of you will be patching things up and you will be it's like it will start from an argument or fight and then you know it will also help you to unload whatever that you have been keeping both inside your chest and then it will end up in love making so it's a good thing and then it will continue until the end of the month yet you will find something that your partner that will say out of the blue or slip of the tongue or that they will just mention that for you it's like hmm you know or they will be calling you a certain name or pet name and you know you're just gonna tell them that i'm not your babe you know so that will be the start of a red flag and war okay because it's all the it's you know it's often an obvious indication that someone is doing something right behind you while you're working your ass off. And your partner obviously will be denying that, no, you know, like, what are you, what are you talking about? It's like, you know, you're overhearing things. So now when it comes to your, and then there will be a fight and confrontation, but still they're not going to be admitting anything to you. That's why the overall energy of your card for this month is betrayal. Now, when it comes to your health, you need to rehydrate, water therapy, and you also need to steam, okay, for you to release some of those toxins that's been coming out of your body because you've been under a lot of stress and even you you will be growing some acne or you'll be growing some, you know, some allergies in your face. I also feel like you need to change your clothes. You will be shopping for clothes, especially for this pregnant Aries, you know, for this month. And uh, you also need to go back into your usual exercise and health regime green vegetables and you also need to let's say do warm or let's say you know go for some again the parasitic infection this is like uh since january and i feel like eventually you're gonna make it through because it's not yet that you know severe again some problems with your throat chest coughing and ulcer and migraine okay your immune system will need some boosting but i feel like you will be doing better by the end of this month let's take a look for singles because somebody from the past is coming back into your life and it's a younger fire sign this it could also apply to both committed and non-committed all right It's like you're gonna be you're gonna be giving up on this, or you want to give up on this air. Uh, sorry, water sign, because there is a fire sign that will be coming out in the open, and you feel like there can be an alternative. But then later on, in the middle of the month, 
or second or third week you will be seeing the real colors the truth will come out and you're going to be making a better judgment or decision now more communications and i feel like there will be some travel that you will also be taking and going for with the situation with the water sign it seems like you're going to try and find some strength but then you will be storming out again because you will find out a certain deception okay i feel like this is somebody that you're not really let's say not really in a relationship but you just have an arrangement okay and this person from the past that will be coming into your life even though you wanted to hold a cup of love you feel like it's much better to let them go because it's not really gonna work out in the long run and you know what is their real intention let's take a look at your oracle cards Clean it up, come to the edge, peace, not for you, blessed, and treasure island. It is because that you are still going to be making it through, and you're going to be having this blessings that will be coming towards you when it comes to your careers and finances, but you're going to have some little problems when it comes to your love life. Oh... vision board blocks lifted have confidence in your creation success speeches and speaking happy news now create a board with images and words that inspire you and blocks lifted previous obstacles came from fear and down there now they are now lifted away which is i told you that in the uh, at the end of this month you know february you will overcome all those people who are, you know, expressing their negative, sorry, their negativities and their skepticism about your current position. And they're, you know, it's, it's, it's so obvious that they're not really happy for you. But still, you're going to be overcoming it. Now, you have confidence in your creations. Trust in the power of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you. Success. Congratulations. You did it. Speeches and speaking, you have important messages to deliver that can help others. Happy news, your prayer is answered in a creative way. Now, there are some cobwebs that you need to clean up, to remove, surpass, and, you know, um, it's time for you to cut off some of the things that you no longer need, you know, or cut off some people, remove uh, do some spring cleaning in general and uh, also come to the edge. You cannot always play safe in life just for you to, you know, just because that you don't want to make a mistake or just because that you're so afraid that you might fall or you might make a wrong decision. Sometimes the mistake that we do comes as a blessing in disguise for us to see what's on the other side of life. Now, peace, you will have enough peace of mind if you will just move away for a little while and spend some time alone. Not for you. You need to accept that there are some things that are not really meant to be permanent in your life. And blessed, this is the blessings that you're going to be receiving, which is the strength and wisdom that you will be using in your career. And Treasure Island, you are, you're already seeing the horizon of your destiny and of your you know life path and you're all in the right on the right path a right way so don't give up let's take a look at your march forecast
you know the reason why i'm not releasing any monthly or weekly forecast right now even my website i haven't really updated all my telescopes there i'm just really busy right now for the preparation of the things that i need to do around the end of the year until next year so i'm really sorry for all those who's been trying to visit my website and you know trying to look for the updated uh, content of the telescope because i'm already doing the advanced forecast for you know for 2019 for each science western and chinese astrology the chinese astrology i have it i'm already done with it i just need to uh, put it in my website. Ooh, middle of the month heartbreak. Overall energy of your card walking away. Too much insecurities. Truth that will be coming out. Wooing and pleasing. And you'll also learn how to play around for a little bit. Yeah. But I feel like eventually you're ju you just couldn't really take it anymore. Because it's so hard when you know what's really going on right beneath it. Okay? Finally, for your health. Now, well, the overall is somebody who's leaving and, you know, running away rapidly. But now, this month of March for you, it seems like there are some things that you need to be a little bit more cautious, be a little bit more aware and conscious, especially when it comes to your finances. Your finances will grow, but I feel like you just need to be a little bit more careful in spending, where to, who to give it, what to, you know, you know, what to buy and stuff like that. Good. And uh, you also need to be a little bit more careful with the intention of this fire sign that's going to be coming back into your life. Because I feel like they only needed something from you, especially financial assistance. Middle of the month, there will be some heartbreak that you're going to be incurring and getting and feeling. And your intuition have already told you about this, but you did not really listen until that you will be discovering what is hidden beneath the, um, you know, beneath the skin of this fire sign, this younger fire sign. And you will have a hard time because you, all along you will think... And you will assume that this is somebody that is really meant for you to be with because it was all right from the beginning. The connection is great and, you know, you feel like it's never ending. It's meant to be and you just couldn't really, you know, um, get enough of it until that you will just suddenly wake up from a dream. And it just turns out to be a nightmare. Okay, so you will be building up your walls and you will be um protecting yourself from this person who turns out to be already with somebody else or will be getting back together with somebody who they ran away from okay so this applies to single and to 
um, committed ones as well. Now, when it comes to your finances, it seems like there is someone who's a water sign who will try to play around with you and will be setting you up. Okay, this guy is not really... Well, cannot be trusted and um, don't really put your trust in this person because they are very gentle, convincing, sensitive. They're also very good looking but they're not that tall and they're holding a higher position. Even though that you're just new in your position, there, you know, it's like you feel like why is it that there are a lot of people who want to sabotage me or who wants to see me down or go down or give up? And eventually, you will try to look at the brighter side of life. And instead of focusing on the toxicity of the situation and the dramas that these people have been passing on and, you know, and giving into your path or spreading into your path. And you will just, you know, pull out more strength and experiences from the past when you were still new. And somehow, right around the end of this month of March, you will get right back up and, um, you know, you will be dealing with those nasty colleagues of yours and you'll be putting them where should they be, placing your standing, okay? You'll be focusing on your work, but you will also be reprimanding those who needed some reprimanding. Now, when it comes to your love life and sex life, even though your partner right now is trying to woo you, there's still somebody at the back of your mind that you're still thinking about, which is more likely a fire sign. And you will be very conscious of how you look like. You'll also be opting for breast augmentation, skin lifting, or Botox. And some improvement when it comes to your nose and skin. Uh, some women will also be like doing some... Um, like they're going to be adding up some of their, you know, fats to their ass so that it will get bigger, you know, and also check out your breasts, you know, for those who doesn't want to go for augmentation. Now, again, some insecurities and some truth that's been hidden under the carpet will be revealed and uh, I feel like there will be some confrontations, but instead of fighting, your partner will be you know, your partner will be, um, you know, like, uh, will try to woo you in a way of making love to you. And of course, you know, making you feel a little bit better and good, but it's only, it's not really going to last for long. And you will still somehow remember what it is that they have done. And there will still be confrontations, even though you're going to be, you know, on and off, on and off. The fire will be like bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. And, you know, you're, mm, it seems like you will also know or get to know that your partner knows a lot of different strategies or positions in bed, which you never have done before. And until that you will be, you know, confronting each other, even though your partner will be extra sweet to you. And it's like you just couldn't really contain it anymore. You feel whatever you feel and your instincts... It will never fail you, so you will be trusting your instincts more. They're not going to admit anything to you still, okay? But there is a possibility of you walking away and looking for the truth or looking for a place to breathe for a little while. Now, you will also be opting for a new craft and uh, will be creating some new things, you know, just to divert your attention. And I feel like there is a big idea that you are waiting to, you know, to, to lay out the plan and to pass on to the to your colleagues or to your bosses and you know that this will in turn you know in, in return to will be earning you another recognition just be very careful that you will because you will be losing your focus there are also some ringing in your ears that you will be hearing uh you will also be losing your balance losing hair and nail brittling okay you also need to have more sun or to get more sun and vitamin D. And, uh, you know, you also need to sweat it out. Even if you're not really fat, you still need more sun because you're starting to become yellowish. And I feel like you need to be careful when it comes to your lungs. 
if you are smoking you need to stop okay and you need to look for an alternative because one you're starting to have halitosis two your teeth are starting to become brittle and you will also have the gum bleeding and uh, throat problems or throat uh, wounds plus lung and liver problems aside from that you will also have some problems with higher places or you know being in a high place it's like for example standing on the edge in a building and aside from that i feel like everything else will follow because you just need to keep a healthy diet let's take a look singles what's going to be coming your way this month of march Okay, the fire sign for singles. So this is for the singles, okay? You know, the fire sign that just recently came up in your life that you thought and feel like this is your real soulmate. I feel like this is more likely a karmic soulmate, not really a, you know, a real soulmate. And you will try to find more strength, okay? But you feel like this person is just way too selfish for you to accept and absorb you or absorb them in your life again. And you just couldn't really stand being on the sideline because you will somehow get to know or find out that this person is already with somebody or seeing someone or already, you know, living together with somebody. And you thought that the two of you are going to get married or this person came back into your life to marry you. But, you know. It's just another heartbreak and uh, you will just end up parting ways or going in your own separate ways. More communications to come, but I feel like it's more about arguments, fighting, like giving back this, you owe me this, you know. And right after that, you will learn your lesson. You will learn. You just need to love yourself, okay. Hang on tight there because once you relocate and once you move to a new job or a new place, you will eventually have a brand new beginning that you've been waiting for. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. New project, success, motivation, writer's group, birth, sensitivity. Chop wood, thinker, message in a bottle, truth to be told, deep knowing, fork in the road. It's actually, this is about your relationship that you need to make a, uh, you know, uh, that you need to make a, uh, what do you call this, like a decision. 
Like a newborn baby, your actions are growing your idea into a reality. You know, this is the idea that I told you that you're kind of cooking or brewing. And uh, you're just, you know, trying to lay out all the plans and all the details. And you're, you're just ready to present it to the management again. Success. Congratulations. You did it. Motivation. Pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on this project. Writers group. Creator join writers group to gain inspiration, friendship, and support. Birth new life such as a baby, an idea, happy news, or an exciting project blossoms within and around you. Sensitivity. Your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. Chop wood. You know, there are some people that you need to cut off. You know, people who no longer serve you well, people who's just draining your energy, giving you dramas, blackmailing you emotionally, and just giving you toxicity. It's time to cut it off. Thinker. You tend to think into, you know, things that are not really necessary for you to worry about. Yes, there are some vital things and essential things that you need to make a decision and action, but thinking and thinking and thinking will only bring you nothing but stress and, you know, drain your energy. And again, try to, you know, try to look for the message that your guides or the universe that will be sending you either in the form of object or, you know, uh, things that you see every day, people's words or dreams. And there will be a truth to be told, which is, I feel like it's just time for you to realize this. Deep knowing, before making a decision... Make sure that you have all the details and all the evidences are facts. And you will be standing at a crossroads during this month. All right. Let's take a look at your April forecast. Well, you'll soon be rising to the occasion, so I feel like uh, even though you will be discovering lies, deception, cover-ups, uh, and this is the overall energy of your month, the fire sign. You will be acting like a fire sign woman or fire sign person this month. Well, which is, it, it is your mother element, but more likely a combination of three. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you will be acting on all of their traits. You'll be combining all of them. be discovering that this water sign is just purely lying to you and been conniving with a co-worker who is a little bit younger than you definitely not a secretary but also working as an executive all right and that person is an earth sign
All right, so. Uh, oh. Looks like this is the month where you will be thinking about leaving or walking away. That as I've said that, you know, like you already have your, you know, like your job is doing good, your finances are doing good, but you just couldn't really tolerate the, the, the deception and the lies and alibis, you know, the, uh, the betrayal that is already becoming more and more obvious every day that you're together. And even though, you know, even though that y as much as you want to confront and ask your partner, like, why, when, where, who, you know, it's like, what is your, like, what's your problem with me? Like, am I not enough? You know, those are just the usual line. And, you know, like, uh, don't you have any other conscience that I've been working so hard? And, you know, I've been like, I've got, I've all given my all to you and still it's not enough. You know, like, why are you doing this to me? Why are you hurting me so much? And then your partner will not just say anything and will just try to walk away, you know, let things cool off a bit. And then they're the one who's going to be wooing you. And, you know, will be promising you that they're going to be changing. You know, let's start all over again. Let's try to make it work and, uh, you know, try to change and yada, yada, yada. So you have to listen to your instinct if it's still worth the shot the second time. Now, when it comes to your work and to your finances, things are looking good. Things are progressing, moving. Except that this water sign who will be, you know, bringing some dramas and grievances and miseries. Minor, you know, minor things and um, minor miseries because you're just starting. There, This person will also try to sabotage your work. Like, for example, that there are some things that you're going to be asking. Like, how do I do this? How do I go there? You know, how who will be... A, who will be who is the person that I will be approaching or stuff like that. And this person will be either teaching you the wrong thing, pointing you to the wrong person so that you will keep on running around and wasting your time. Or it will be teaching you the wrong things that you will just end up getting in a hot seat with your boss. So be very careful not to listen to other people, especially that right now, everyone around you is very skeptical if you can really fulfill the job or obligation that you are newly handling. Now, there is somebody that you will find out who is sabotaging and uh, betraying you. It turns out to be somebody who used to be very close to you and whom you considered as a friend. But you will just find out that they are one of those people who has been spreading gossip about you or has been bad-mouthing you and expressing their disbelief that you are capable of, you know, handling that position that you're in. And there will be a talk with your boss, which is... You're the one who should make a decision this time, okay? Again, another decision making when it comes to your fi when it comes to your finances and work, and also another decision making when it comes to your personal life, whether it's still worth holding on or working it out. Well, when it comes to your sex life, you don't want your partner to touch you because even though you haven't, you know, you haven't seen them in in the act, or you haven't caught them in the act, or there's no physical evidence. You trust your instincts more that you are very certain 100% this time that they are doing something behind you. There are times that you want to, you know, catch them, but there are times that you, you know, that you're like backing off and uh, you're so afraid that what if, what if it's true? What if I've seen them? What will I do? How do I react? Okay. Because you're so afraid it might just have a bitter aftermath that will just change you and you know make you become more like a dark person so it's all of the obvious because your your partner is all of the flaunting right in front of your face and you know they really have the you know they really have the audacity to f show it right in front of you rub it off your face and uh, it's like you just couldn't really take it anymore. Your partner is trying to push you for a reaction. For you to wail out and for you to get upset so that they'll have the control to revert back. Okay, so it's like they're provoking you. But you will have enough control and you feel like this is not really the right time for me to let go of my temper. And for me to, you know, um, unload what is inside of my chest. And I feel like this month you're going to have, for singles especially, that you're going to have 
very active sex life. But just be very careful, especially that you're going to be meeting this person in a very random place. If this person is really clean or not. And, uh, you know, they, they're they kind of... Um, they smell like fish down there. Okay? So, especially if you don't really know this person, you know, like uh, months of dating... And you, it's going to be your first time of uh, having sex with this guy or with this person, with this woman. Be very careful. Again, curb down your habits of smoking because it's already, you know, um, creating a hole in the wound in your stomach, uh, heart ailments as well, and thyroid or throat infection. And high blood pressure. Uh, sorry. <laughs> High blood pressure and the heart problems, um, especially when you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, it is because that you are working too hard. Okay, so be very careful with your blood pressure. Let's take a look at your singles. Turning somebody somebody down or a relationship down, you feel so stuck again with the fire sign that you will somehow find out what is what it what is it that they really want from you, and that's why they're being extra caring and stuff like that. It is because that they only needed money, and you're the one who's gonna be cutting off this you know this person. And for you, what's in, what's more important is that you're not going to waste your hard-earned money over somebody that's just feeding from your generosity and who's only playing tricks on you. And you're just, you know, you can just simply make your own brand new beginning, look for somebody else. And uh, I also feel like be careful with your health this month because you need some rest and you need to lay down a little bit and you haven't been sleeping. And not to mention that you're going to be very frustrated and depressed over this person from the past that you will be regretting that you shouldn't have accepted this person in the first place. Well, he did not really listen. Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Motivation, classes, sensitivity, prosperity, agent or manager, inspiration. We all need an inspiration for us to be a little bit more creative and, uh, you know, goofy. Or at least, you know, to be a little bit more proactive in whatever we do in life. Exchanging gifts, deep knowing, truth to be told, thinker, to be fair, yin. Alright. Now, motivation. Pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for it. Focus on this project. This is the one that you've been brewing. Classes? Well, I feel like you need to attend some, you know, crash course or seminars or trainings for this. Sensitivity, your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. Prosperity, your actions have resulted in an incoming abundance. Agent or manager, your work expands its reach as you partner with a professional who can help you. Inspiration, yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly to set it into motion. 
Now exchanging gifts, you will be seeing your life being self in front of other people and or in front of another person and they feel like you'll be trading places so that you will know how it is to know how they really feel towards you and deep knowing right before you accuse or say some words make sure that you already have the facts and evidences so that it won't backfire on you and truth to be told there is somebody that will be telling you about or confirming you about your hunch and this applies to your personal life thinker instead of thinking so deep and it's instead of thinking too much i feel like it's just time for you to rest for a little bit and let the right energy come into you so that you'll be able to think clearly to be fair i feel like you will be doing some balancing this month about you know whether it should be done if you if you should still hold on stay or stay or not really you know make anything at this point or anything major and you need to release the negativity in you by meditation all right, let's take a look at your May forecast. All right, and we're off to your May forecast. I have colds again. It's because of the weather just keeps on changing. Ooh. Okay, a deception from an air sign. Lying. Change of energy and environment. Feeling a little bit alone. Approaching some friends from the past or people from the past or consultation. And this is the overall energy of your card. You need to check your bag or you need to check all the details right before you get into something. Get into the details. Okay, now, mm, this month, looks like you're going to be in trouble with an air sign who is, uh, mm, hmm. this, this man is very, um, what do you call this, very uh, devious, okay, and um, even though he's in the position, or even though he knows that he is older or higher than you, 
he feels like he has the uh, you know he'll have the right to play around with your mind or to toss you around whenever he wanted to but then there will be a turn of events or some karmic cycle that will be done and i feel like this person will be busted with their lies and with their you know whatever it is that they're trying to set you up for and you're going to be learning that it's not actually true okay so at least that you're being guided you know to know the truth and you will somehow feel like it's much better when you know when i was still in my former you know former position that there are no things like this that's been going on and happening and every time you know and it's not really every time but ever since that um I was proclaimed for the new position. It's like there are a lot of things that's already been going on that I never really, you know, uh, experienced when I was still sitting in that position in the past. And you're very, very disappointed with how things are going. And uh, there are, you know, there are times where that you're kind of thinking, should I just quit? Should I just go? Or should I still stay? When is this going to change? This whole cycle that's been like driving me mad and. It's all but consuming my marriage and my relationship as well. So, which is when it comes to your finances and career, you will be taking a leave or you're going to be taking some time off from work. And even though there are a lot of work that you need to do, you will just decide to take it home. You're going to have a hard time asking for some break or asking for some vacation, but you really need it because you feel like you're not really burned out with the job. You are burned out with the, with the people who's been... Um, running around you and it's been playing around you okay you will do your best and you will somehow feel more comfortable w working at your own pace and working space sorry working at your own space and you don't really have any other problem working at home which is I feel like this is what you're going to be suggesting to your boss but instead they're just going to take it the wrong way and in turn you know there's they will somehow um they will somehow think and assume that you are not really fit for the position or that you are already you know or that they made the wrong decision for putting you in the position hmm, okay which is i feel like you will try to contest that or you will try to fight off that argument and you will you know make it a point that it is not the job that you're complaining but it's the people but i feel like there will also be an argument that it's already part of the package and you cannot really avoid that you know so deal with it or be gone with it and you will know the tricks and uh, you will learn more by the end of this month which is i feel like you just need to hold on stay and there's people who's been like uh, trying to mess around with you they are just trying to test you when it comes to your love life and sex life you will have a temptation in the side while you are trying to deal with the infidelity of your partner and i feel like someone will also try to seduce you and um it will somehow occur to you if this is really the right moment for you to get back at your you know conniving partner or um like a an infidel who just made a promise last month it was just the month of april that they're going to be changing but still it is still obvious and they're gonna be you know they're so they're still gonna try and woo you and this month by the end of this month you are gonna be discovering a grave truth right in front of you so go and check the parking inside the car and um now when it comes to your when it comes to your health, be careful with some kidney stones or ga gallbladder stones. Again, some imbalance and uh, you need to... Some Aries needs to gain, to gain some weight because you've been losing so much weight, especially for those who's not really, you know, conceiving. And I feel like it's also because of your stress and unhappiness and depression. Don't stay too late at night and uh, you will be working too hard just to just for you to whisk off your mind. And uh, don't forget to tend to your garden or your small plants. I also feel like you'll have an extra sensitivity to light, sensi extra sensitivity to sound as well and smell. That it's like you are, you know, conceiving or something like that, but it's not. Plus, you also need to eat 
a lot more healthier because you've been shutting off your weight too fast. It's also time for you to go to the doctor and don't self-medicate. And um, I feel like it's just time for you to go and check out the, you know, the pain that you've been feeling uh, within your stomach and below your abdomen. All right. Let's take a look, singles. If there's love, that's going to be coming your way. Mm -hmm. So it's flipped over. Still waiting. Well, fortunately, you, you've waited for so long and you're going to be stumbling upon somebody's already married or already with somebody. Not yet married, but already leaving with someone and has one child. And uh, I feel like you're not going to be very satisfied or this is not the kind of relationship that you've been waiting for and not really worth the, your time and energy. But you're going to be enjoying your moment, you know, uh, for a very brief period of time. Either you're going to be dating for just three days or three weeks or three months. And even though that there is a spark there, you don't want to settle for anything less and you don't want to repeat the past again. And uh, you are, you will just decide to move on. I feel like there's also an air sign who will be teaching you a lesson and you will just keep on turning this person down. Now, you will be focusing your attention and your energy energy towards your work this month. Well, it's not that you're going to be zero, but uh, I feel like there's not really that much of, uh, you know, people to count on. Let's take a look. Share art of the world. You're a very rated person. Okay, it's time to allow others to enjoy your creative work. Allow yourself to receive. Well, don't be so, you know, hard on yourself. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answer prayers that God, that God is sending you. Uh, pay attention to your dreams. This is the message, okay? The message in the bottle. See? Um, they're just right after the other. You're receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind. While they appear in order to help you. Divine guidance, the ideas you're receiving are heaven sent answers to your prayers. Deserving you, like all of God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. Success, congratulations, you did it. You know, there are some things that you just need to accept that, you know, it's not really meant for you. And there are some things that the reason why it has taken place is because you deserve it. And there is a lesson that you need to learn for you to expand, for you to get better, and for you to learn more. Okay, so learn how to let go of some of the things that you cannot control. 
poised even if there are a lot of things that's been going on in your life you still make it appear and you carry yourself good right in front of other people that you are doing good and okay you can still manage to smile because you're a very strong person on the inside message in a bottle as i've said that please pay attention to the you know to your dreams to the things that will become in your way because i feel like there is a message that your angels or guys are trying to convey to you to open up your eyes fork in the road you're still you know caught right in the middle even even in your workplace you feel like should i go should i stay will it get better when will it end you know and the uh, same thing for your safety for your marriage or safety for your relationship a new life this is what you will be wishing for and what you will be asking for no place like home you feel like even though there are a lot of things that you have already you know there are that you have already achieved and conquered and there are a lot of places that you've already reached nothing else compares to your own domestic comfort all right now let's take a look at your june forecast finally This is the overall energy of your card. Feeling a little bit defensive, guarded, stronger, and wiser. Well, at least that there will be some victory and uh, happiness that will be coming to you. I feel like you will be deciding to end something that you feel like it's no longer working. And this is what your intuition has been telling you. And you will soon find more happiness by releasing something that is n becoming more of a burden rather than an asset. Good things coming your way when it comes to your work. Okay. Oh, huh. You're going to be a little bit stone-hearted during this month because of a decision that you're going to be making that it's really just time to cut it off, you know, to dissolve it and uh you feel like you know, it can't be helped anymore. Which is, I feel like it has something to do more with your personal life or with your marriage. 
Now, there is like um like a success that's going to be coming your way as i've said that you know even though that there will be a lot of testing times that you're going to be going through when it comes to your work and company and colleagues and bosses you will rise to the occasion okay which is you know you, you will be earning praises that there is a project that you will be handing over sending or presenting and they're going to be you know admitting that wow you're good you know so even though that this is what's been going on in your personal, sorry, in your work life or in your career, it is more likely a contradiction to your failing marriage and failing love life that you have just decided to, you know, not to say anything, keep things as a secret, not really consult anybody or not really, you know, ask some friends and, uh, family members about your decision and you just somehow feel like you know i just don't really want to talk about it i just wanted to walk away that even if we talk about it well you know what's done is done and i know you know it's obviously confirmed that they just couldn't really take it anymore that there's so much disrespect and um so much drama it's already consuming me taking a toll on me that I, I, you know that those changes and those things that i have already witnessed i don't want that to change me and for me to become a dark person so i'm the one who's going to be stepping away leaving and cut it off then we can just deal with some other things later on you know when i'm ready so you will be relocating moving to a new place or a new home even though you don't know yet where to go, what to do, where to pack, and, uh, you know, like, uh, what will be your next step. But somehow, you're just pretty much determined to, you know, the things that you are about to do. When it comes to your work life, again, you know, I feel like there is another increase or bonus that you or reward or commission that you're going to be getting from the presentation or idea or project that you will be submitting or presenting and somehow you'll be proving your boss that you're really the right fit for the position you will also be turning down or turning over those disbelief of other colleagues of yours who's been you know showing skepticism and uh you know negativity towards you and somebody will also be resigning right around the third week of you know um of this month and even though you don't want to you know feel responsible why this person have left and moved um i feel like you will just show them you know the the real sense of victory and the real sense of um sportsmanship so even though that you're f gonna feel bad about this person you just you know you're just gonna make a stand that you know it's that's their decision now when it comes to your sex life and love life again as i've said that there will be somebody who will be wooing you and someone will be you know tr will try to seduce you and i feel like this is the time where you will be finding a little bit of a comfort and even though that you know that you just step out of uh, the relationship you just wanted to, you know, feel loved and feel desired, you know. And, uh, well, there's a part of you also want to get back at your partner because of your rage and, uh, you know, upset feelings. But I don't really feel like this is bound to last. When it comes to your health, you will have more appetite this month because you will slowly get up, pull up, and, um, you will slowly recover again be careful when in high places and be careful in falling you will also be very conscious of what you look like and your appearance and sensitivity to light and sounds and smell again some problems with your throat you will also keep on coughing and uh, chest pain stomach pain pain on the side of your ribs which is on the right one and you will also find that your ears will be uh, swollen and you will have huh, swollen feet as well aside from that <coughs> i'm sorry i didn't uh, <clears throat> mute the mic right away um yeah anyway um 
You will also go back to your gardening and to your, you know, some organic stuff. And um, you will also have some organic diet or <clears throat> green leafy vegetable diet this month. And be careful in having sex just because, you know, you've been deprived for quite some time already. Some water therapy that's actually needed. You also need to have, you know, some steam bath or, you know, sauna for you to release your stress and for you to detoxify your body. And I feel like you need to do some spring cleaning because uh, some of the things that you no longer need... You also need to declutter and remove some of the old memories of the person that you just cut off from your life. Let's take a look. The cards of single. <clears throat> the moon. Death card. Ooh. <clears throat> I feel like it's time for you to go and find a new job, single Aries. This month. Alright, be very careful because I feel like either you're going to be resigning or you're going to be let go, you know, because some of the things that you've been slacking off and uh, eventually you're going to, you know, you will receive enough, you know, for you to make a brand new beginning and eventually you're also going to be starting a brand new job <clears throat> right away the same month while you're walking away from another and... I feel like it's a water-related company, a water-related business or industry that you're going to have some second thoughts, but you know that you need a job and you know that you need, um, you know, something to pay off your bills. Which is you will still be dealing with a betrayal by somebody from the past and you will, you know, try to regain your strength and will try to get in touch with the water sign. Which is... This water sign will hear you, and there will be a brand new beginning. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. Inspiration, <clears throat> agent or manager, allow yourself to receive media, vulnerability, motivation. Well, it seems like you will be, well, you will have a better press release or you will have a, a good reputation that will be spread all over. All right. Wreath, Regeneration, To the Sea, TikTok, Yang, The Tribe. Okay. Yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly to set it into motion. 
HR manager, your work expands its reach as you partner with a professional who can help you. You will be working with somebody who is more of a like-minded individual in your work. Allow yourself to receive, open your arms to welcome the blessings and answer the prayers that God is sending to you. Media, you can reach more people by working with video, audio, print, and online media. Your popularity will also be increasing this month. Vulnerability, listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration and then pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what. Motivation, pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on this project. Breathe, you need to have, you know, that space to breathe new air and new energy. For you to think clearly as well and for you to regain more energy and uh, you just need to let out that black smoke or black energy inside of you and inhale some new white and pure you know energy or light or smoke inside of you now regeneration whatever that did not work out in the past it will be working out now there will be a death and rebirth off to the sea because that you will be making a very crucial decision this month about somebody has been bringing you a lot of toxicity and drama. You just need to, you know, spend some time alone. Time is also of the essence if there are some procrastinations that you've been, you know, doing and uh, there are some things that you've been putting off. It's time for you to act upon it. And Yang, you need to let out the fire in you, the positive energy needs to shine within you and the tribe you also need to stick around with your family right now and you will be getting support from them and happiness all right let's take a look at your next month's forecast all right Okay, now here is for your July forecast. This is the overall energy of your card. Finally, happiness shining through. Um, still a bit of a problem when it comes to your work. But I feel like you're going to be overcoming it. Just like, you know, it's only the second week that's going to be very difficult. But then, uh, yeah, second and third week. But uh, I feel like you're going to be making it through. You don't really have to worry about it. You're strong.
you need to go for some soup diet or some liquid diet this month all right all right well the overall energy of your month of july was seems like it's very very good now yeah well you're, you're, you'll be receiving extra money and extra reward again because of your you know good job that you're gonna be doing and i feel like you will also start thinking about putting up a business or putting up an investment because you don't want to keep on working all your life and uh you know nothing is happening to all of your hard-earned money so you will start looking into investment or something to invest on now there is something about your well it's not really a major thing about your job right now but it seems like there will still be a few difficulties that you're going to be going through but you'll eventually you will be um surpassing it i feel like somebody from the finance department or somebody who's been holding finances or hr will be cruel or mean or bitchy towards you apparently for no reason now when it comes to your family life or when it comes to your own family it seems like there will be some bit of attention and argument and uh some things that will just come out right out in the open and um you know there are some things from the past that will just resurface that you thought that this is already you know okay and you've already forgiven each other that all of a sudden this will just suddenly came up again you know so you will be distancing yourself from your family at this point and you will be traveling plus you know like a deja vu you will be meeting somebody whom you will somehow feel very connected and it's like you've already met before and you will start out as friends and i feel like this is your destiny so for those who you know who just recently got their who just recently got their divorce or are still single at this moment you will finally be meeting somebody very 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 good okay and it seems like this is all with your destiny this month now again as i've said that you there will be some very good and positive changes that will be coming your way that you will be working so hard in, into manifesting and working on this project that you have just you know submitted and they're forwarded and they want you to put your head on it okay they're also counting on your leadership skills and then your uh, you know team so, uh, that you can also manage them and you can also manage for them to follow you and listen to you I also feel like right around the third week of this month, you will be calling off for a break because you will have some, it's, it's like you're already burned out, okay? Because even though there are times that you're not really that busy, but right now you just can't really seem to get your head, you know, into whatever it is that you're doing and you just want to... You know spend some time alone to make a decision and um i also feel like there is one team or one person in your team that you have to fire or that you need to let go but you are not really quite sure how because of your conscience when it comes to your love life and sex life for those who are still married more dramas that will be arising but there will be like up and down, up and down, and the wooing and fighting, wooing and fighting. But only you have the key, you know, to sever these ties and for you to know the truth and to let this person that you know the truth. Yet somehow you are still sneaking behind your partner and still trying to see somebody from the past, you know. Um, for some Aries, okay, for some Aries people who's been going back and forth with their ex or still going back and forth with somebody that they've had you know foundations or feelings with it's time for you to make a choice um some vertigo signs or symptoms but then you will also think of changing your aura or changing your appearance again sensitivity to light and problems with your abdomen chest thyroid or throat migraine and eyes aside from that i feel like you will be 
You'll be opting for something organic and green diet, so... You will slowly gain back your energy and uh, your strength. Just, uh, you know, just be careful with some heart attack or heart ailments or blood high blood pressure because of overworking. And aside from that, things are looking good. Let's take a look at your August forecast. Oh, sorry, at uh, your singles, car uh, singles forecast. <laughs> sorry, I'm way too advanced. Okay, singles, let's see, because here it already appeared that you're going to be meeting somebody very, very, very good. Looks like you're gonna be meeting somebody who's an older earth sign. Good. That you will be meeting while you're traveling, single Aries. Now, there will be a brand new beginning, and for those who will be starting their new job, and you will be traveling, or there is a travel that you will be making that is related to your job. Finally, that this is the moment that you have been waiting for, that you will be meeting somebody who's of, like, a, a little bit older than you. Five to seven years. And they are in a senior position. Very good job. You'll be meeting them while you're working or while you're traveling for work. Yet you will be a little bit snooty, you know, if they will be approaching you. And um, I feel like it is fated for you to meet each other. But it's not going to be a very brand new. Sorry, it's not going to be a very good beginning. Or it's not going to be like a very good introduction. Uh, I feel like you're gonna be a little bit rude to this person, but then that is what will you know, that is what will amuse them. Now, change of cycle and events. Finally, this is the moment that you have been waiting for to meet somebody who's of your equal and somebody who is more likely a like-minded individual. That you will somehow feel that this is the, really the right one. Good. I got also the Knight of Cups at the end. Now, let's take a look at your Oracle cards. So the Sun card is actually for those who's looking for love and finally that, you're, that they're going to be getting whatever they want and love for singles. Birth, prosperity, ask for what you want, love, attraction, inspiration, sensitivity. All right. I will be changing your oracle cards on the month of August. Oh, that flipped over. Message in a bottle, observer. You know, this is actually. Um, I feel like it's my it's my uh, guys who flipped this card over that there is a message for you that you need to be a little bit more observant and look for the message look for the hidden codes or stuff that you need to read on or be aware serendipity uh, mending co-create truth to be told orphaned happy i also feel like you need to look into your past life to see if you're you know if you were born as an orphan because it could be that this is also the reason why you keep on having an unrequited love okay and unhappiness in your relationships okay birth well some aries will be giving birth during this month or some will find that they are, you know, pregnant. New life, such as a baby, an idea, happy news, or an exciting project, blossoms within and around you. Prosperity, your actions have resulted in an incoming abundance. 
Ask what you want clear communication with yourself, with God, and with others help you avoid misunderstandings and speeds up the process of answered prayers. Law of Attraction. Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations and you will attract more positivity into your life. Inspiration. Yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly to set it into motion. Sensitivity. Your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. Now, all right, so, mm -hmm. you will be meeting somebody who's very, very, like, similar to you, or it's like you will have the deja vu feeling that it looks like I've met you before, but you will have this very irritable, irritable feeling. You know, about this person that you feel so fresh and, you know, very conceited and cocky and everything else that you hate the, their guts. But it's like you can't really stop talking about them as well. And that will be the way. Okay, so you'll be meeting somebody who is a very frisky person. Well, I'm not saying that, you know, it's it will turn out to be very negative. But I feel like it is a uh, long-lasting relationship but it will start out in a very funny and irritating way mending for those who's been broken hearted and those who's been like you know um uh experience an avalanche in their love life finally you will start building your life again in your heart you know returning to the belief of love and faith and goodness Co-create, finally, you will be finding yourself a new partner. The truth to be told, you, learn, you have to learn how to accept the truth and do not protect yourself just to keep on believing in lies. Sometimes you feel so isolated, you know, because uh, you feel like uh, nobody's there for you, nobody understands you, and nobody lends a... Um, you know, shoulder for you to cry on. Sometimes you always feel so alone. But finally, happiness is coming in here. You know, happiness is here. Let's take a look at your August forecast. Okay, now we're off to your August forecast. Let's take a look. Time flies so fast. I'm actually recording this... Uh, this month of September, okay? Well, today is the month of September. So... I will also be... Okay, hopefully I'll be able to publish it all in the, at the right time before I travel. Alright. And this is the overall energy of your car. Ooh. This is the overall energy of your month. Feeling a little bit stuck. Left out. And already looking for an alternative.
Okay. Um, hmm. You will somehow feel a little bit unhappy, discontented during this month. And there are a lot of things that you're feeling like um, you're, t you're too tired. You don't really want to deal with, you know, other people's whinings and, uh, you know, other stuff like that. Not to mention that there will also be some family dramas that's going to be ongoing. Yet, you know, you will be able to surpass all of these things. I also feel like there is something that you're going to be walking away from, you know. I feel like you will plan to resign or would want to quit on your job during this month and uh well this is actually the card of walking away the six of swords eight of cups the seven of swords the three of swords it is because that there is something that you're just you know they're really and totally unhappy and you will also be traveling to another place you know and uh, i feel like you will also be meeting a younger fire sign there or younger air sign but the thing here is you've been going through some depression okay for quite some time already and this is the reason why that you're gonna be losing some appetite or you know you're gonna you're gonna be losing your zest into your life into your career which is I feel like you're only being overwhelmed you know with everything that's been going on and you did not really had enough time to confront and deal with your hurt feelings you see this is what happens when you know when you're broken hearted and you just tend to whisk off your mind to let's say for example keep yourself busy or to you know keep on traveling over and over again you never you, you did not even manage to cry it off you did not even manage to take it out to wail out or to you know cry non-stop and you, you did not really go through the seven stages of getting over somebody you just escaped because you feel like traveling or you know making yourself too busy that is what will heal you until that you've already forgotten the pain and you've already forgotten whatever happened but you know when you forgot something it will still go back like a memory you are not healing you are escaping and you're actually prolonging and letting the wound get infected and get bigger and get deeper so this is what actually happens when you don't really, you know, it's like you did not have enough outlet, you know, for your rage to be put in the right place, you know, and stuff like that. And um, I feel like you will be making a lot of wrong decisions during this month. You will also feel so broken hearted. Some Aries who's already in a relationship or some Aries who is... Um, I feel like some who's in a new relationship or like a relationship that's already been, um, you know, going through some rough patch. There is a possibility that you're going to be ending up this, you know, whole drama going back thing. Because there are two things that you're going to be leaving, you know, and these two are actually looking into separate ways. So you will be leaving two things both at the same time. Yet I feel like, you know, even though I feel like some heirs will be leaving their marriage or will be leaving their partnership, their relationship, and some will be leaving their jobs. But at the end of the day, I feel like even though you're gonna you're having a lot of hard times, you will have enough in your pocket. But I hope that you will find, you know, something that will suffice you for the meanwhile that you're taking your break now when it comes to your workplace it seems like there is somebody that's very close to you and somebody who can whom you consider as a close friend will be betraying you and will be fighting against you and until you know until the time that you will just you know had enough throw your hat off and you know like i'm done you know I'm, i've had enough i'm done whatever i do it's not enough for you you want my position, you know, you can shove it off your ass. So, you will also be traveling and you will just decide to, you know, take a few breaks. But um, I feel like your boss will just tell you that this is not really the right time for you to take a break because this is the crunch time. 
you will try to finish off whatever that's needed to be finished off and handed over and to you know to be completed and you will start thinking about a newer foundation or moving into a new direction when it comes to your sex life into your love life three is a crowd it seems like somebody will try to more likely the one that you're with for singles, this is the one that you're seeing, but uh, more likely just dating, not in a relationship. Who will try to make it up to you and who will also try to need you physically, but you will be unavailable. You will have another choice on the side, but and you don't actually know who to choose. It seems like you will be dealing with a Leo and another water sign or, earth, or younger earth sign or middle age earth sign. And um, it seems like you don't actually know who to choose, what to do. And uh, you're not yet decided until the time comes that faith is the one who will be making a choice for you or who will be making your default choice. Okay, and I feel like you're going to be ending up choosing the fire sign. Which is... I feel like this fire sign that's been like you know going back and forth into your life who is just only after the fun and not really into you know anything much i hope that this person can also help you with some of your finances now your body will inc you will slowly increase to have some weight and gain some energy you will also be busy crafting some new ideas and i feel like you'll be you will start thinking about putting up a um, like a new business. You will also be uh, visiting some religious places during this month. <clears throat> Again, some parasitic infections and problems. And uh, you will be planting more or you will be, uh, you know, diverting your attention into gardening and planting some more leafy vegetables. Um, being more conscious about how you look like. Um, feeling a little bit, you know, left out or missing somebody. And be careful in, in <clears throat> being handed over a virus by somebody who's already infected by it. I feel like this disease came from the Middle East. And, um, but you don't really have to worry because you're guided and, um, you just need to you need you just need to attend to your depression don't self-medicate instead try to use the natural way of overcoming your depression let's take a look singles what's going to be coming your way before we take a look at your oracle cards Well, looks like that small beginning that started from small friendship is now, you know, coming to fruition. But you're so afraid. You're you're acting a little bit defensive because you're so afraid of feeling let down, betrayed, and you know, being deceived. But I feel like this person's intention is I feel like you know this this person can be trusted. It's just that you both need to work on your differences and so you both need to work on your attitudes and behaviors and how you really deal with your problems in a relationship. And there will also be a shift. You will be... It's like finally you'll be making an official announcement that the two of you are all together together. And you will soon be moving on from the past. And you just need to deal with your own demons, you know. And um, accept that this is all with your faith and this earth sign person is the right one for you and your soulmate now let's take a look at your oracle cards good for you singles you will finally be meeting the right one
I will be using a different oracle card this time. I will be using the Archangel power, uh, power Terror Cards and the Guardian Angel Terror Cards. The Empress. Ace of Raphael. Seven of Gabriel, Pedro Raphael, Queen of Michael, Eight of action, two of thought, three of emotion, nine of emotion, embrace those around you, and celebration. The Empress, uh, time to act upon your plans, creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. Hmm, good for you. Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. This is the, uh, you know, for a single Aries, this is the one that you're going to be meeting soon. Or the one that you've already met, but you're just really irritated and can't really believe that that is the one that you're going to be ending up with. Even if they ended up somebody who's, you know, like, a, you feel like they're not really that desirable or not so good looking or something like that. But you know that the feeling is right and the feeling is somewhat sinking in. Seven of Gabriel, stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. Picture Raphael, gentle, loving, dreamy, and open-hearted, a new emotional situation. Ah, this is really for, for singles. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. So, Aries singles, you will be ending up with somebody around August. King of Raphael, warm, generous, honorable, and refined. Yes, it is safe to trust, the ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions. Queen of Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience at time for your career rather than relationships. All right. Now here, eight of action. There's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time. Even if life feels challenging, if you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. Two of thought, your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. Three of emotion, wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. That even though you are walking away from two things both at the same time this month, you, there will be a happy beginning or new beginnings and, well, not all endings are not really happy, but I feel like this is what, you know what you, where you're really meant to be and what is really meant to happen nine of emotion this is a magical time in your life and wishes are granted and dreams come true it may seem that good luck is following you but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun 
Embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. Celebration. This is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away at the light and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. All right, let's take a look at your September forecast. Okay, well, this looks like all right. Uh, you are going back to where you used to be, or where you used to reside, or you know, looks like there is something that you're gonna be. Finishing off in that place. It's something that you've been waiting for. Oh, sorry. I forgot to pull out the overall energy of your month. Which is the justice card? Oh, looking good. Looks like Aries, you're gonna be opting for a bank loan during this month, and uh, or you will be, well, yeah, getting a loan or trying to get your house remortgage. Now here, I feel like um, there will be some arguments. You know, in fights about the money, especially if you're still in a relationship. You know, for those strong Aries who's still in a, who's still, you know, in their relationship and haven't really given up yet. Some debt settlements and uh, some banking stuff that you need to take care of. Government, um, government issues, banks, military, law, legal. Especially if you're also going for some legal battles during this month, something will be will finally be, you know, coming to an end, or something will be finalized. But uh, you just need to be a little bit more careful with some devious people. All right. So... Well, you know, you need to keep your feet on the ground, even if there are a lot of successes that you're, that you're going to be achieving or that you have already achieved in the past. And uh, don't really isolate yourself just because that you're so afraid of being taken advantage of. You also need to socialize and mingle with other people. 
and don't be a little bit paranoid because you will be during the second week of this month you feel like one of your friends is um attacking you while you are not really looking or right behind you and i feel like you will also be sus uh, suspecting other people who's been you know like a talking behind you spreading some gossip or hurting your reputation even if you're not really doing anything i feel like this is more because that you are not really that i feel like it's not just you know it's more of your hunch but there is somebody who is a water sign who's been mocking you okay not really spreading gossip but more likely mocking you now you will also be desiring for a new beginning and you will start looking into either buying a place from the old location or city that you used to be in or that you used to live or there or you will be getting in touch with somebody from the past about a house that they are offering or if you can get the same house that you used to live and this is where you want to begin again because you feel like there's something in your life that has made a very sharp and fast turn and you've already forgotten you know to look into which direction which direction you should be taking or going and everything just seems so a little bit confusing at this moment so you will be going back into an old place or you will be relocating back to a place where you used to be now when it comes to your works and finances still you will have that financial stability and you don't really have to worry plus i feel like you will also be taking out some loan from the bank uh, regarding a business that you want to put in or regarding a property that you want to buy or there is a property that you will be you know uh remortgaging and um I feel like you're not going to be getting the the targeted amount but you need to lower down your expectations not to mention that you might just ended up you know regretting by uh, borrowing this huge amount especially now that you're still you know starting all over again and starting on your own and you need to be a little bit more practical there is also somebody who will be combating your ideas and combating your your plans but then you will still pursue, go ahead, and you know how to manage your own finances. That even though at the end of the day or at the end of this month, you will be struggling a little bit. Okay, you don't know yet where will you be going, where will you be getting the extra, but you are confident that you can overcome this. When it comes to your sex life and love life, there is somebody from the past that you're going to be like sneaking around with or that you're going to be seeing with secretly. While your partner will try to make it up to you and you will also try to rebuild your, you know, your relationship both at the same time. Or it could be the other way around because this is a general reading. Now there is someone who will be um, uh, catching somebody who's looking, you know, who's still sneaking around or um, doing something right behind them. And someone will be... Um, calling off the shots this month and will leave you will try to woo your partner but then you will just get and you will just get ignored or you will just get a no and that is the time where you will start realizing that what you did is wrong okay now you will also start building up your foundation again and uh it's like you're going to try and still work it out because the two of you really love each other. Now, when it comes to your when it comes to your health, it seems like same ailment, heart, chest, throat, thyroid, um oh, and the uh, head injury plus shoulder injury and ulcer plus migraine. some of your health ailments i feel like will you know will continuously get better and you also need to socialize a little bit so that you won't keep on thinking about your broken heart be careful in having sex with somebody that you don't know especially if it's just somebody that you're going to be meeting at a random place because there is a possibility that you might ended up getting pregnant without you knowing now aside from that your health will start you know a uh, little by little get better except for your lungs and vertigo and um, 
some leg fracture as well around the end of this month okay now let's take a look singles about your cards well some singles in the month of august they've already found the right one oh Okay, somebody from the past again, water sign or fire sign that will be mingling into, uh, sorry, that will be meddling into your personal business and you just wanted to walk away from this. Now, on and off, on and off that there is someone who's already married or already committed that will just come, you know, butting in and out of your, butting in and out of your life and you just want to cut this off once and for all. But there is somebody that you will be reconciling with and this time you will be giving this relationship a chance which is i feel like it's the water sign all right let's take a look at your oracle cards Queen of Michael, Knight of Gabriel, Six of Ariel, Ten of action, ten of thought, guardian of thought, happy change, intuition and insight, fear of decisions. All right, knight of Ariel, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. I feel like for singles, this is the one that you're going to be ending up with. There is so much to accomplish, making sorry make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind queen of michael brilliant self-reliant insightful and humorous you know exactly what to do the benefit of experience a time for your career rather than relationships knight of gabriel con confident enthusiastic courageous and charismatic take time sorry t time to take action great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do Six of Ariel, material needs fulfilled in measurable and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. Page of Gabriel, energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You're ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. Knight of Michael, strong, committed, intellectual, and diligent. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotions. Sudden changes. Well, it looks like you're going to be choosing more of if it's going to work or not. And even if your heart is still saying yes, your brain says no. It's time to declutter. Ten of action. You're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and personal life. Be willing to ask help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be very harmful to your health. Ten of thought, a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end, and you can breathe a sigh of relief with the challenging times behind you. You can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. Guardian of thought, you may be called upon to 
be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person who could be you may be emotionally unavailable. A happy change. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. Intuition and insight. Your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now, so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. Fair decisions. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there is nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. Let's take a look at your October forecast. Temperance for the month of October. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know why the cards won't shuffle. Okay. Having the right opportunity is something that you will be struggling to find during this month and it seems like you need to be a little bit more practical and listen to the advice of others. For you not to regret losing something that you have worked hard in the past. Ooh, three is a crowd. Uh, 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 uh. If you're the one who's cheating, definitely you're going to get caught this month of October. And... Uh, uh, uh.
Okay. Now, <clears throat> looks like you need to make a very wise choice between two. To people, to opportunities, to jobs, to offers, to, you know, or something like uh, you've been caught in the middle. You've run away from something in the past or you have, you know, just cut off the ties and burned the bridges behind just because that you think that you can fully start on your own. But now you're feeling a little bit discontented again because you don't know where you're going. Even though that you're still, you know, that you still have enough and you still have the right resources. Um... You feel like you just wanted to go back to where you used to be. Old job, old company, old residence, old city or old people, you know, or old friends. And uh, I feel like there is also a water sign in whom somebody from your past and more likely that you have a karmic connection with this one is coming back into your life as well. And uh, there is a younger earth sign who will be betraying you and there will be a sudden change of events or a sudden turn of events. When it comes to your work and finances, you will have a hard time finding the right opportunity, finances, and, you know, like, um, like identifying the right opportunity for you to spend your money with. And um, I feel like it will also be helped out by your sibling or by a family member who will also be working with you on the side to put up this business or to work on this project that you've been brewing for, for a certain period of time already. You will also be signing a contract around the third week of this month of October, but then you will somehow find out that you missed out a few details and somebody have deceived you. When it comes to your work, sorry, when it comes to your sex life and to your love life, um, either you're the one who's, who's going to get caught up or you will be catching somebody who's having sex with someone or who is... <clears throat> someone new because i feel like there will be some jealousy that will arise more this month and you will end up wondering and fantasizing another person from the past so there will be either you're gonna be like um cheating emotionally or physically with your partner at this point especially if you already have a child but you are longing for the different kind of charisma and touch and you are looking for that, you know, you, it's like you're missing somebody from the past that that is the only person who can make you feel this way. And unfortunately that you're get, you're just going to get caught up. There will be confrontations and uh, too much of guilt feelings that you're also going to be, um, you know, you're also going to be dealing with this mo this month of October. You will also find yourself a little bit isolated because your partner will be leaving you for a little while just for you to think long and hard about what you really want. When it comes to your health, immune system will be boosting and uh, will be improving. I also feel like you will be healing. You just need to continue your, work re your health regime, your healthy diet, and um, you will continuously... Create your own recipes and craft some new hobbies or craft some new ideas. Uh, you're on your way to having a better health, opting for some organic stuff. And just be careful with some wild animals, okay? And uh, try to eat your a balanced diet and try to eat more because you've been losing weight for the past few months. Let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming your way. Okay, the Hierophant, Two of Cups. You know, there's no perfect, 
person and there's no perfect relationships that sometimes some people could really you know hurt us with their lies and uh, this is what you're going to be discovering this month about the person that you're with especially if it's a younger water sign that you know they are not really telling you the truth about their family but I feel like you will get a chance to really fix things and there will be some enlightenment and you will the two of you will be talking but you're not really going to believe whatever they are going to be um, claiming um, especially that there are some things about some financial stuff that you're going to be a little bit worried of or a little bit walled up shielded guarded and um, you will start doubting this person's intention towards you okay if it's a younger water sign let's take a look at your article cards your finances will also start getting better and you will also be traveling internationally during this month or you will be receiving a job offer internationally Three of Raphael, nine of Michael, nine of Raphael, the Emperor, High Priestess, six of Michael. Two of Abundance, six of Action. Healer of emotion, helper of thought, five of abundance, nine of emotion. Now, three of Raphael reasons to celebrate the community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Nine of Michael, your worries are necessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Nine of Raphael, make a wish. Dreams become a reality. Joyful time of life. The Emperor, Archangel, or Yell, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. The High Priestess, Archangel, and Yell, powerful psychic insights, reflection, and midi meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Six of Michael, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. Oh, I told you that you're going to be relocating back. Two of Abundance, life may be feeling a little bit out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. Six of action, what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, and or, or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is having sent and say yes. Healer of emotion, this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. Helper of thought, your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be in hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. 
Review the details as best as you can. You know we'll meet her or someone with a very quick mind who instantly grabs what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. Five of Abundance, there are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't to go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. This situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed, so be patient. This is, you know, regarding the plan that you've been putting off. And uh, it seems like you don't actually know which direction that you should be going. So try to listen for the signs, for the signals, and for the guidance from your angels. Nine of emotion, this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. Let's take a look at your November forecast. And now for the month of November, let's take a look. Transitional face. Oh. Um. Be careful with the family member is actually, you know, who will be betraying you, or somebody from the past. This is the overall energy of your month. Now. Okay. Here. You can see it. Uh, it looks like um, there is a water sign that you need to be a little bit careful of. Well, you'll be traveling right in the second week of this month. And I feel like you want to move away from your family for a little while. Don't do business with family members. That's one thing. Well, looks like in your in your finances and career is also the same. This month is not very favorable for you, Aries. This month needs a lot of work, okay? It needs a lot of working on yourself, working on your personal decisions, your goals, your targets, ambitions, dream, relationships to your family, and vice versa. Thinking about going back to work, working uh, working too hard, uh, and uh, working on something like a relationship or marriage. Okay, now this this month you will be going through a transitional phase, which is this is you know the very thing that you're so afraid of the most. It seems like you will also be you will also get betrayed by somebody from the past. If you have been like a divorce from somebody 
course, you know, um, if you just recently got divorced or you're trying to, you know, go through a divorce or something legal, that it means that somebody more likely either your a, a female in-law or your ex is the one or the one that they are with is the one who's uh, is going to offer a betrayal okay they're going to plan and set you up so that you won't be able to expose them now you will also be consulting a few friends and a few acquaintances about your situation plus um, try to look after yourself and try to watch your back because don't do business with the family member or with family members or relatives because there will be some confrontation when it comes to money and when it comes to operations okay you will also be traveling within the next two weeks or second week of this month or the last two weeks of this month because you want to move away from everyone especially from your family whom you're supposed to be counting on during at this point but they are the one who's going to be burdening you now when it comes to your work and finances it seems like you're also going to be in a very difficult position because you will have um it's like you're having second thoughts about entering or going into an agreement or investment which is you will prove this end of the month that your hunches were true that you know you should have listened to your instincts and your much hard-earned money or much uh, saved money will be taken by somebody and i feel like uh, you know this is something that's more of a betrayal that you never really expected to happen now there is a younger water sign who will be um, helping you out and he will also tell you the truth and you will somehow find you know you will somehow find it a little bit hard to believe whereas you've counted on these people to be honest with you but they are the first one who really let you down now when it comes to your love and sex life things are starting to pick up but then you cannot really like uh, let go of this person from the past especially this is a fire sign and you're just trying to pull out more strength not to withdraw from the temptation but this person just keeps on coming back over and over again and your partner will somehow know or find out that you are thinking about somebody or that you're fantasizing somebody or it could be the other way around because since that is a general reading and i feel like this um you know this partner of yours will find out about your secret and there will be a confrontation insecurities will also be at par and you will try to work things out but then it's uh, the pain just won't go away it will st still keep on blocking your progress and the sex will also get hurt a little bit you know it's more likely uh, his way of punishing you or their way of punishing you when it comes to your health things are looking good you will start healing progressing there will be some developments except for the um, stomach liver chest throat and migraine and uh, some swollen lips will also be there and you will slowly gain some weight for singles be careful in having sex and because you will have a very active sex life this month and i feel like you will have some bleeding even though you don't have your period for women and you will find it a little bit hard to you know to do it again you also need to gain some more balance uh have some you also need to have a balanced diet you also need to socialize for you to divert your attention um pay attention to your bones and to your breast um, issues even if you're a guy and uh, aside from that things will start looking better around the end of this month there is an illness that will be finally coming to an end or that will be healing finally which is i feel like it's uh, related to liver all right and you will also find your swollen feet you know um settings it's like it's um it will slow down a bit it, it will heal down slowly and because before if it's you know it's like um it's so big that you couldn't even walk but now it's subsiding or this month will be subsiding it a little bit i feel like it's also related to your kidney let's take a look singles
it's like you are trying to pick up the pieces from your heartbreak from this water sign and then you will eventually um, pay attention more to this earth sign which you've been dating for quite a while and um, well the sex is good and sex the sexual chemistry is good but you feel like there's not enough for you to marry off this person until that right in the third week of this month the two of you will be working things out will be working on more clarity confusion and will also be a little bit more humble you know to come forward but then the last week of the month it will be even more chaotic and confusing for both of you as there will be some behaviors attitudes miscommunications that will be thrown at each other's camp so chances are the two of you will be not really breaking up but there will be some suspension of communications or absence of communications let's take a look at your oracle cards Seven of Ariel, change your life. Archangel Shamuel, solutions. Archangel Zedkiel, seven of Raphael, king of Ariel, three of Michael. Seven of Action, Helper of Abundance, Spiritual Teacher, Eight of Emotion, Helper of Action, Embrace those around you. Now, you have invested wisely. You have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your, new, for your next endeavor. Change your life, Archangel Shamuel, a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free from... Break free of uh, procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Solution Archangel Zadkiel. A success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience for giving and healing energy. Seven of Raphael. Time to make a decision. Be clear <clears throat> on what you want to take action and need for detoxification. King of Ariel. Uh, successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. I feel like this is the earth sign for single Aries. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. Three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. Seven of action. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. Helper of Abundance, although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and they are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. That person could be you. The spiritual teacher, these are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. 
Out of emotion, you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. Helper of action, you're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have the time. So go and get busy, follow your instincts, and have fun. You or someone you meet is a very self-assured, capable, enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. Embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions, or your heart may long to try out new ideas. Let's take a look at your December month forecast, the final month. Oh, finally a very good month for you also somebody from the past past life connection past life phenomena karmic cycle karmic debts you also have the tendency to overlook some things that even though the two of you are actually meant to be together there are some things that you're kind of neglecting to fix Okay. All right. Well, it seems like this is going to be a very good month for you. And it seems like the cycle is finally complete. And um, you finally reach the, um, you know, the, uh, well, just for this year's chapter. Okay. 
emotionally you're gonna be a little bit disappointed especially with the communications that's gonna be flying around and you will be somewhat a little bit uh, walled up cut off and dry cold and distant and cruel and mean to other people that you don't want to entertain other energy or other people in your life right now because you know right after what happened in the month of november you feel like you want to protect yourself from those people who wants to take advantage of you now it seems like you will also um mm. It seems like there are also some things, works, and projects that you'll kind of overlooked at. And you, you know, there are some works that will be left undone. And you will have to, you know, make an overtime work even right around the holidays. Okay? And it's still... Because this is hanging. Well, the bonus that you're going to be expecting is, isn't really going to come right after, you know... Uh, right after a month from this month of December so you're waiting for that and you feel like you know you're already planning what you should be buying getting and opting I feel like you also want to get a new car by this month when it comes to your work and uh, finances someone who's a younger f uh, fire sign is kind of playing mind games with you and uh, cheating on you okay cheating as in taking your credit you have to listen to your instincts before trusting this younger person and you will somehow find it a little bit restless and uh you know you, it's like you're not really comfortable that you have let this person take over an obligation or responsibility that you should be doing and you will just find out that this person is full of tricks and doing right something behind you and you will just catch them right on time there will also be some communications, news flying, and, um, well, about a, um, it's like there will be some budget or money that will be, you know, th th that the manager or the company will be looking for you or looking into your account, but then, uh, it seems like someone will be setting you up, so be very careful and watch your back. And you will be able to clear off your name, but then I feel like this is also the reason why you're going to be moving away. That right after everything that you have done for this company, they're going to, you know, they're going to think that you are stealing from them. And that's the reason why you're going to be withdrawing and running away. Meaning that you're going to be quitting your job. When it comes to your sex life and love life, it's a time to make a decision. And I feel like the other person, even though they're already hurt, they're still, you know, willing to woo you until someone will be walking away and then you will somehow regret it and you will somehow find it a little bit, you know, conscientious that, you know, the other person isn't really doing anything to you, yet you managed to do this to them. Yet, you seeing the other person will still continue and you only you have the key which one do you really want to have and be with but you know please take note that if it's only pursuing you because of the challenge and when the challenge is gone then where should you be going and what should you be doing you have to value the person who stands with you during those times that you know when you have nothing and when you when you're just starting Rather than choosing the one who's just trying to woo you out of challenge and just because that they can benefit something from you. Now, when it comes to your health, uh, take care of your bones. You also need to socialize a little bit, mingle. It will help you. And I feel like continue the meditation. Uh, you will also be visiting religious place and will be making an offering. Continue planting what you have started and uh, you will soon harvest your hard works again your problems with your oh by the way there's something new eye ears nose throat uh, migraine throat chest pain lungs and your stomach okay i'm not saying that you are this sick but um you have to go and check out with the doctor more okay you also need to have some balanced diet 
you will be socializing mostly with none of your with the non family members. And I feel like you will soon rise up and, you know, started getting more um, recoveries, progress, and developments when it comes to your health. And you will also be happy. Plus, Aries, if uh, some Aries will also be conceiving or this is a very fertile time for you. Let's take a look, singles. Happiness, travel, being a little bit aggressive, non-communicative, happy-go-lucky, feeling unsure, hang on the edge without even thinking, family issues, walking away from two, <laughs> one fire sign and one water sign. And then you'll, you will reconcile with somebody who is younger than you. And I feel like you will still continuously date too. I'm not saying that all Aries are like this, okay? If this resonates, then good. If it doesn't, then check out your moon rising. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. The Magician, Seven of Gabriel, Five of Raphael, Knight of Raphael, The Star, Three of Raphael, Three Little Mermaids. Okay, the Magician, Archangel, Raziel. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Seven of Gabriel, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Five of Raphael, everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Knight of Raphael, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspec and introspective. Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Ah, this is somebody who's, you know, you'll be swooned by somebody who's a sweet talker. The star archangel Jafiel, a dream come true. Believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. Three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate the community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Eight of thought, you may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. Ace of Abundance, this cheer brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign. 
Be open to success. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out as a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude you deserve. Garden of Abundance, this is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and it will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with a great integrity who enjoys hard work and this person could be you. Nine of Emotion, this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. Ten of Emotion, life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Uh, great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Her Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others. You're rewarded with unconditional love. All right, so that's it for you for this year of 2019. And hopefully that you, you know, you will pick up some enlightenment and things that you need to avoid in order for you to make that mistake, okay? And uh, suffer for the long-term consequences. So... If you want to have your own personal yearly forecast, go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.